Adaptations. Color. An adaptation is a feature that helps a living thing survive. There are many types of adaptations. In this podcast, we will show you some examples of animals and plants in Illinois that use coloration as an adaptation. Fishes are often white or light colored on their belly region and dark on their back. The white belly makes them seem to blend in with the sky to something that is below them in the water. When seen from above, they may match the color of the water or bottom of the water body. A potential predator from above or below could be fooled by the fish's coloring. If this fish is a predator, the color may allow it to hide on the bottom or the water surface and swim quickly to catch prey that may not notice it. The red squirrel shows the same type of coloration. When seen from above, its red back fur and tail may blend in with the pine needles or leaves where it searches for food. A predator, such as a hawk, might have a hard time seeing the squirrel. The red squirrel's belly is white, and its survival value may not be that great as red squirrels spend a good deal of time on the ground and in a tree cavity. The young of white-tailed deer has red-brown hair with white spots on the back and sides. A fawn often rests by lying down in wooded areas or tall grasses, and the spots help to hide it in these areas by showing a broken pattern, like that of sunlight broken up by leaves in the forest or grasses. The spots are no longer present after the fawn's summer hair is replaced by its gray-brown winter coat. The gray tree frog changes color to match its background. It can do so for protective coloration, but it can also be to help modify its body temperature. As an amphibian, the body temperature of this animal is mainly controlled by its environment. By darkening its skin color, it can absorb more heat faster, warming the body and making movement easier. Animals like bees and striped skunks have distinctive colors that warn other animals to stay away. The yellow stripes, usually with alternating black or brown stripes, of bees are a reminder to an animal that has tried to eat one that doing so again is not a good idea. The black and white colors of a striped skunk are easy to see and remember. If you have been sprayed with foul-smelling skunk scent, you will easily recognize and avoid a skunk when you see one. Many bees and wasps have a similar color pattern that act as a protective device for the entire group. Some animals that are harmless gain some benefit from having coloration that is like those of animals that may sting or bite. The hoverfly has a color pattern like that of a bee. It is harmless though. If a predator has been stung while trying to eat a bee, it may remember the color pattern and avoid bees or anything that looks like them. Eye spots in the wings of moths and the body of some caterpillars can be used to frighten small birds that may think that the eyes are those of a cat or hawk. The eye spots can also make a moth look bigger than it is. Two moths that use this technique in the adult form are the polyphemus moth and the io moth. The American bittern lives and nests along the shores of marshes where cattails and other vegetation grow. Many of these plants are tall, thin, and grow close together. The markings on the underside of the bird are also long and thin. It blends in well with the plants. It may also point its beak to the sky and stand still, further adding to the deception. The long-eared owl has colors in a pattern that looks something like tree bark. It perches and roosts in trees and is difficult to see when close to the tree's trunk. This common true katydid is colored and shaped like a leaf. Predators that hunt by sight have a hard time finding it. Many wildflowers are brightly colored to attract pollinators. They need the pollinators to move their pollen for reproduction. The bright colors tell pollinators that the flowers now have pollen and nectar available for them to eat and to use to feed their young. Different colors may attract different types of pollinators. Brightly colored fruits attract birds. The birds eat the fruits, including the seeds. The seeds pass through the digestive tract of the bird and are expelled in the bird's waste materials. In this manner, the plant uses the bird to move the seeds to a new location for growth. In the mating season, some male animals are more brightly colored than usual. 
their coloration can be used to communicate that they are ready to mate. The colors can also be used to tell other males that this territory is taken. The male wood duck is much more colorful than the female during the breeding season, yet is about the same color as the female in the fall of the year.